r slash ask reddit. What are the perks of being ugly? I've got a queen bed all to myself. Yet you still have to sleep in the wet spot, only it's your tears. It's actually drool duck I drool too much. Jealous people won't mistrust you if you go out with their bfgf for a friendly coffee. That works on a lot of levels. I got to live with a, taken, smock and hot 22 year old. For free when I was around the same age. Why? Well her bf was rich. Didn't want to move in with her, idk religious reasons or something. Maybe he was just smart, but also didn't like the idea of her living alone. Well I was poor ugly and dumb so he asked if I would live there in the extra bedroom. Just to idk. Protect her or something. Not even. Just to have a man in the house. I felt honored. Not only that he would trust me not steal hit or hurt his girl. But not to run away with her either. Then one night I heard him talking to his friends about it. They said what I had sort of been thinking. I sent it kinda weird having another dude live with your gf. He replied ha no it's you slash abkthk. What do I have to ever worry about? Like she would ever do anything with him. Not gonna lie. It stung. Me being self sarcastic. I once told a girl I was out with. Whose bf was going mental that she was out with another guy to send him a picture of me to him. He stopped bothering her about it shortly after. We had a good, friendly, night. If someone takes interest in you romantically. It's out of the want of love instead of the want of lust. Unless you're an ugly millionaire. If. Being ugly has no guarantees. Sadly. More alone time. Hey buddy are you alone? Yay. Most of the time. When people compliment you they're not doing it to try and get into your pants. One of my best friends is a very handsome fella. Me. Not so much. I was telling him about a teacher of mine who had been complimenting me on how well I was learning to horseback ride. She was so convinced that I was a natural that when I decided to end my classes, broke. Couldn't afford them. She offered to let me continue to train for free. I told my handsome buddy Gary about this. And he replied. Dude. She just wants to nail you. I disagreed. And said she was being truthful. And asked why he couldn't just accept that I was good at something. Trust me. She just wants to duck you. Now the thing is. That is his experience. He's hot. Women come on to him all the time. I can't tell you how many times I've sat with him in a bar or restaurant while the server fawned over him. Or paid him all the attention and ignored me more or less completely. However I'm not handsome. That's not my experience. Generally on the rare occasion I receive a compliment it's genuine. So I explained to my friend that my teacher did not want to sleep with me because she's in a committed relationship. Doesn't matter. He said. She just wants to sleep with you. She's also a lesbian. Both true facts. Even then he couldn't accept that the woman didn't want to sleep with me. That she just honestly felt I had real talent when it came to what she was teaching. I've been around people like your friend Gary. I understand how they've arrived at their worldview. One of the people I used to hang around was so confident he literally slapped a random girl's ass while at a concert. The girl turned around with rage on her face. And then almost immediately melted into a puddle of giggles when she saw the attractiveness of the guy who had done it. You could tell part of her wanted to be angry. But that quickly changed into aggressive flirting. I realized I'd be in jail if I'd done that. What the duck. The thing is. I still wouldn't do hit like that if I looked like Ryan Gosling. You don't stand out in a crowd. You just blend in. You can get away with a lot of things if no one notices you in the first place. But then if you get into deformed territory, you will scare children. I'm an unremarkable middle-aged woman and invisibility is my superpower. The upside is that photographing abandoned old buildings is a hobby of mine. And I've yet to come across any site where anyone noticed me or cared that I was completely trespassing for some photos. All the time for video games. Friends are true. When you're ugly you have no friends. Tell me about it. You can blame being single on your looks rather than your hitty personality. What if you get a hitty personality because of being single your whole life? Maybe you need to work on yourself then. Less likely to be kidnapped. Don't really if it's a perk though. 
But if you do get kidnapped, the media and public won't care. And the kidnapper isn't doing it to keep you as a sex slave. You either die a sex slave, or live long enough to see yourself become the kidnapping creep. People leave you the duck alone. My favorite perk is that when a stranger strikes up a conversation with me it is because they want something from me. Because they have no interests in me as a person. So you can cut the BS small talk and ask them what they want. This is both relatable and sad. Nobody cares about you. That sounds bad. And it is. But being unnoticed in a world with evil people in it makes bad things more random rather than being consistent and ever present. Also makes being an assassin a lot easier. Nobody wants you. No anniversary gifts. No wedding. No awkward proposal. No cheating. No seeing your significant other fall sick or get hurt or die. No having children who grow up, or maybe don't grow up at all, and do drugs and die. No having to consult with your significant other whenever you want to take a trip or move. No having to cook or bathe or be sexy even at 100 years old so, god forbid, they don't fall out of love with you and leave you. No divorce. No horrible in-laws you have to maintain contact with. And did I mention no anniversary gifts? Well. There's no birthday presents or valentine's day either. Yes. I'm enjoying being hideous and free. The only question on my mind is what size bed I should get. Because that's a commitment. Man. Help. Send. Live. The only question on my mind is what size bed I should get. Because that's a commitment. Man. Don't go smaller than a queen. Seriously there is something so liberating about being able to just flop starfish style on a large bed. You could go up to a king or California king but in my experience a queen is more than enough for one person unless you're quite tall. Save money on birth control. And if you ever get laid the other person will make sure that they are using birth control. I sent the rule that ugly people have cute kids. People see me with my wife and assume I'm rich or hung or both. So that's nice I guess. Are you? Yes. People are much more honest with you because they aren't Loki trying to duck you. Also you know when your jokes are actually funny. Nobody will kidnap your children. How you gonna get children? Exactly. I am an ugly female engineer. My colleagues take my opinion seriously and I'm treated with respect. There seems to be a misconception that attractive women aren't as competent engineers. Which a few of my, attractive female, friends have sadly struggled with. I don't have the same problem. It's assumed ugly equals competent. Just this morning I had a co-worker I've always gotten along with who happens to be my parents age say with regards to the subject of women in engineering oh yeah I've always had this theory that there's only so many points that get allocated to looks versus brains. He somehow didn't feel awkward saying that to a female engineer but certainly felt awkward when I asked well then. Is your wife pretty or smart? Female and attractive equals ducked her way to the top. You don't need a costume for Halloween. Capital F. All the free bananas you get from people mistaking you for a chimp. Free bananas. Score. There's always a job opening for an assistant to a mad scientist. Can confirm. Source. A mad scientist in need of assistant. I'd totally be someone's Igor. You don't have to buy women drinks at the bar. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to Reddit Queen for the best daily content.